Yo, yo, all my game musicians out there, this is the Amnachus Elbow, double O sharp for short, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Uranium. So, I think right now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can try to catch one of these really odd-looking dinosaurs, so I guess we'll just take our pick. Ah, ah. Love we have. I, I love how we still have the, the that one cry that we um, hadn't heard um, a long time ago. I can't remember what exactly, what or where exactly that cry came from, but I do believe it was, um, it was the pre-evolved, it's the baby form of Garu, or, no, I think it's Baru, I think that's the name of the Pokemon, was Baru, or whatever it looked, um, it just, it looked really, it looked like a derpy rock type Pokemon. So I'm just going to assume that it came from a Baru. I mean, I think that's what the... that's what it was called. Uh... Surf? You know, I don't think that's gonna do anything. Yeah, it's... it's a nuclear type. So... Plan B. Let's go to Kinemunk. Considering that Kinemunk has lower attack power than my concert master does, I guess I'm just going to try him out, even though I don't know how well I'm going to be succeeding at it, but I guess it just doesn't hurt to check. Let me heal it up before I do anything. There we go. And we'll just try this out. Let's try... Let's try catching one of these two. I'll be lucky if it's one of them. I'll be lucky if it's this one. Uh -uh. And I always like making fun of that cry. It's just that. Uh -uh. Uh -oh. Bite. Will you work? Yes, maybe. Yep, there we go. See, it has lower attack power, so that should give me a better advantage. Try one more time. Hopefully, with light screen up, that should make my make my chances of catching this little yellow Barney Pokemon a lot easier. I, I think it's supposed to be just a it's like a it's it's like a Pokemon in a nuclear suit. I mean, it looks a little bit more like a nuclear suit than anything. Just. Basically a dinosaur just trapped in a nuclear suit with a zip. I mean, I see a zipper there, so... Let's try an Ultra Ball. So, Hazma, did you pass the audition? Not that you're going to be joining my chamber orchestra anyway, but I'm just going to see if I can catch you. Did you make the audition? Nope, not yet. I guess you need a great deal of practicing left before you pass the audition. <laughs> so let's try that again. Is it going to work this time? Good. Yeah, I caught that thing. Yeah, it's a nuclear type, so... I wasn't really thinking about anything else that would kind of be categorized as such. So, where else to go? Are we supposed to defeat all, all these Hazma, or what? This is incredible, yeah. This is Kellen. Is something the matter? No, but we've discovered a distraction. Something very amazing, and also a distraction. You're not gonna believe this, boss. Well, go on. Oh, um, it's a Pokémon. A new kind of Pokémon. It's a nuclear type, but it isn't hostile. It's not even radioactive. This is just a guess, but I think it eats radiation. Well, I could have figured that out. We're in this area inside the hazard zone, and it's completely cleaned. I don't even need to wear my mask in here. Yeah, because we're in a rainforest. Theo, that's dangerous. Put your mask back on right now. I mean, don't do anything careless. Even if you don't see any evidence, it might still be radioactive. See? I promise it isn't. We checked with the Geiger counter on the hazard suit. It's totally radiation-free. It's bizarre. Yeah, that is rather bizarre, 
but you know, given that we're in a rainforest, I mean, the clean, basically the clean vegetation inside should probably, you know, be able to kind of shield the forest from any particles. But anyway, if what you're saying is true, then this could completely change our strategy. Excellent work, Theo. Obo, keep me posted on any new discoveries you make. But remember, your primary goal remains the same. If we don't stop Curie, we can't begin the restoration process. I love how Curie... I mean, I didn't notice this before, but I love how Curie is all in caps. It's like she's either an acronym or just very... Just someone who is just absolutely important that we must always put in an emphasis. Your geolocators say you are not far from the power plant right now. It's due north. Curie is there. I know it. The rebels are there. Find them and end this once and for all. For Tandor! And for St. George. Your dad sure knows how to stay focused on a singular goal. But he is right, yeah, just like me. And yeah, we have a long coming. We both like to stick to singular goals and trying to ignore you. It's cool we discovered this, but we still got a bigger fish to fry. Let's get moving, yeah. You know, one of the good things I do, um, that I have, um, appreciated about Theo, um, up to this point is he's probably matured a lot more, but he is still rather impulsive and, you know, careless. Eep! Eep! More Pokemon. Let's do this, elbow. Okay, let's just get this whole, whole show on the road, I suppose, since we have another horde on our hands. So anyway, um, about Alvin staying in, I should probably not forget to change my Pokemon out every once in a while. Hello, Discord. I should probably disable you, <laughs> but I'm not going to. However, if that goes off two more times, then I will be happy to, to disable you during the recording. Hmm. How is this gonna go? How is this gonna play out? That played out rather nicely, so that was good. That was very good that you took out that bar yet for me. Thank you, partner. I guess. So there we go. Okay, now we're gonna go to nuke. I love how Yeah. I love how he has a nuclear Pokemon in his team. Not that it really matters to me, but you know. I guess it's kind of good. So, anyway, let's right now move on to Tropint. Its original form is Poison type, but given that it's a nuclear type, that this should this should still be super effective for Electric type moves. So, let's try to get this down to hopefully zero health. And if not, I guess someone must... Yeah, someone must sue me. It's amazing how Tropind was able to endure a Thunderbolt. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Come on. Hopefully that did not... Hopefully that wasn't very devastating. It was devastating. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ah. Uh, yay, yay for burn, too. God, that was a dick move game. That really was. Not particularly sure how I feel about that. What? What? How can you? How can a horde switch out a horde? Come on, it's a a horde shouldn't possess the same abilities as a Pokemon trainer. I mean, yeah, it kind of acts as one, but you know, it's not the same thing. It's not the same entity, it's just basically a whole group of Pokemon attacking both of us. It shouldn't it shouldn't really have that ability to to change out a Pokemon, because you know it just it's it doesn't make logical sense. So anyway, I could have used a full restore to and the burn, but you know, you know me and my very, very, very sorry I can't talk. Um, my very sensible urge to 
challenge myself. Well, there goes Nucleon. But yeah, anyway, for my very sensible urge to to challenge myself, I should, you know, keep out... Just keep the burn in there, just for, you know, challenge run's sake. Okay, will Thunderbolt take this chance gear down? I guess we'll see. Will we be able to wolf it? Are we going to be able to wolf out the wolf? Is it going to be a woofer of a whiff of a battle? Yes, indeed it is! Wow. I expected a lot more out of that. And I did. Okay, Giga Drain. Even though that wasn't really that necessary, but... Uh, that was one Mega Drain, guys. That was just simply one Mega Drain. And Hydrosaurus is... yeah. Yeah, Hydrosaurus is trying to withstand the burn all he can. And you know what? I, I, I don't care. I'm going to use Surf right now. I'm going to totally annihilate this battle so then we can move on with our merry lives. Because we do, after all, have two... two Pokemon slash, well, culprits to nab, to apprehend. So we might as well just finish this battle so then we don't have to worry about our Pokemon fanning to just... Pokemon that are supposed to be rather easy to finish off. Ouch! Again, my Serps are really... <laughs> they can really pack a sting. I think that put rather... a very large strain on our relationship there. <laughs> okay, will it do the job? Yes, it can. And... yeah, good. Thank you. And will that be... is that the last of the Horde? I'm gonna hope for Gengar that it is. I'm just gonna have to hope for Gengar that this is the last Pokemon. We're done. We can actually focus on... Wait, really? Well, judging by the fact that I got still got burned there, I think... Yep! Just have one last Pokemon to deal with, and then that's it. So, anyway, Thunderbolt, do your stuff. It may make me faint in the process. It may make me faint while I try to finish this Tanskir up, but as long as I am able to just finish it off right here, yeah, good, good. here and now, I'll be able to full restore my Pokemon and we can actually go to the plant. Hopefully. Because we still need to tr track down their hideout. Oh, that was eventful. Our orders are clear. It's time to go to the power plant now. Let's do this together. Yay, Theo, join me. Not that it really is much of a celebration because I don't still like having Theo taken along with me, but... Again, though, I'll give him credit where credit is due. He's certainly matured a lot more since the last time. Oh, wait, what, really? Well, time for me to <laughs> go back to my concert master then. And... Actually, maybe not. Let me go to Wynatinger. I think it's now probably time for me to have my Pokemon have their fill. So, okay. How low? What do we have here? We have basically six Pokemon, or four. We have six Tan Skiers just guarding this whole end of the fence. So let's just. Well, let's just take care of them, because it's required. Grrr! And it translates to destroy, destroy, destroy. Where is the creator? What's he saying? Okay. So Char, Bach, and Tenskew are back. Yeah, pretty... That's kind of a usual lineup. Nothing very interesting. However, I will use Drain Punch on on Tenskir. And I'll just let Nymphlora do um or, you know, have his chance of trying to finish that Arbok. That is unless if he's not, you know 
aiming to defeat that Tanskier. However, luckily for me, my attack rose while I got attacked. I know it's kind of funny it, that there was a quid pro quo there, but... Yep. And Discord again! Hello! And, and no, I'm not going to learn my lesson. I'm just going to leave it, leave it ringing. But anyway, Tanskira goes down for a count. And Gunk Shot. Oh no. Yeah, po Gunk Shot is definitely a poison type, so... That may be... Very bad. Yeah, look at that. Ouch. And... Yay! I'm down anyway. Seriously? Well, there we go. And yeah, that's... I'm, I'm done. I'm down for the count there. Because, again, hacks. You just gotta love the hacks in a game like this. Charbok again? Yeah, we have two Charboks with a press of one. Hooray. It doesn't really matter anyway, given that you are both... Actually, no, no, no it does, because they're both supposed to be poison types. So, they would, if they were in their original form, I would be certainly, certainly outnumbered, and I would have a slight disadvantage, but, yeah, we'll just see how much, how much damage Moonlight can take, and that was not quite that bad. Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, this is not going to turn out so well, folks. I don't think it will. Hmm. And there goes Nymphora. Is it going to go back to Nucleon? Uh, yep. <laughs> because AI. But anyway, we're almost done with this Arbok here, so let's just take care of you right now. One fatal moon blast with one fatal um, aura like um, I see cirrus light shining directly down at you. I mean, that's how I would describe it. And yes, I can tell it hurts. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for making my days a lot more miserable. Oh my god! Do I really need to send out my... Do I really need to send out my Concert Master for everything? Yeah. I don't know. I seriously don't know what what else to do except, you know, just use fighting type moves against a Tanskier. And hope for the best I still overcome the possibilities of death from the Charbaka. There we go. Hopefully, though, that should be the last in the horde. I'm just gonna have to hope. I'm gonna have to hope. I'm gonna cross my finger. Whoop, whoop. I didn't mean to... That's the sticky keys. What are you doing? Just, just, yeah, note to self, never hit the shift key five times. Even though I just have that tendency to you know, hit enter continuously while I just... I, I think it's just kind of a nervous habit of mine. But anyway, since no one else can do the job, I'll just send out my Hydrosaurus because, again, designers Roy really love to put... Roy really love to raise the stakes on the Pokemon here. If you know what I mean. I'm sorry, Nucleon. I'm sorry that I have to defeat you while I do this, but I'll have to do this just to get it over with. Because I really, we really need to we really need to find the we, we really need to find Kiri's lair so then we can put this all behind us, we can save the world, and then we can move on to Victory War I think, yeah, Victory Road. I think that's the next 
the next destination that we're going to be headed to right after, so. And to score it again, three times the charm. However, at least I am fine with getting rid of Artlock. That's all I was prioritizing was that. And that better be it. That seriously better be it. No. Oh, but it's, it's the last one, so. We're gonna hit tap to sacrifice Coatlith here, but I will happily use Surf on you. Because right now, I would just like to get this over with. We have just, we've been in here for far too long. This is the second episode that we've been exploring this whole neck of the woods, and we still haven't found the power plant. But I'm gonna assume that the power plant is just down this road. I'm just gonna have to hope, my game musicians. Let's not, you know, hope that we're not, you know, gonna be stranded. Stranded in a deep and dark forest. Whoa. And... I th well, we see... For a minute there, I thought those were teepees, but there we go. And... Can you be any slower, Theo? <sighs> the air is hard to breathe here, even though I have an air mask. Slow down just a little, okay? No, I can't really help it. I mean, I'm slight slightly faster than you anyway because I have running shoes. I can't breathe as well as he can in that suit. Well, no, I mean, it has very... It has kind of limited effects, but you still have a mask on, so at least it gives you better welfare. We're here. Kiri isn't... How do you know that? I'm willing to bet they already know we're cut. Yeah, maybe. Have you arrived at the power plant? Yeah, we're here. And this place is a total wreck. I'm willing to bet it's infested with nuclear Pokemon, too. But it's no match for us. Not so fast, Theo. You won't be entering the power plant with Elbow. Really? That's actually kind of a relief. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dad. With Elbow, I need you to return to the boat. What? You can't be serious. Obo and me were gonna take... No, I didn't ask you to take Kiri down together with me. I'm an awesome trainer. I can do it too. No. Now is not the time, Theo. Because you have a mask and I just personally hate you. And I think Helen does too. Our scanners are detecting extreme levels of radiation within. Obo is the only one that can withstand them in the hazard suit. You've done your job protecting Obo up until this point. But now I need you to fall back and leave the rest up to the... So basically he's just... I think Kellen was just using you to be a guinea pig for me to just make it all all the way up to this point. So then you can go back to the ship. That's an order from your chief. That's an order. But I don't want to leave well, Obo behind. Are you sure about this? What if Obo doesn't come back? I'll be fine. I just can't leave them here. I, dude, I have eight badges. I'll be fine. I refuse. Theo, you're disobeying orders from your chief. I need you to leave the hazard zone immediately. Or do you want a spanking? Not to end up in the same situation as your father? Or, you know, just... I mean, do you want to end up in the hospital the same way as your father did? I have to do this! For Cameron! For my dad! I have just as much stake in stopping Curie as you do. Why are you si Will you please just shut up already, sending Nopo into this alone? Let me go with him. Theo, you don't understand. Your radiation protection won't be enough for you in there. Obo is the only one who can survive it in the hazard suit. You can't get overexposed. Your life could be... <laughs> ...static. Huh? Kellen? Chief, do you copy? Do you copy? What, what was that? Did something just knock out our radio? I wonder who it could be. I wonder who it could have been. I'm not receiving a signal. Warning! Rad level is rising. Warning. That noise just now. Was that the hazard suit? It can talk? Uh, I guess it can. It's a little bit like Flood. Oh, but we need to get out of here now. Oh, oh don't tell. You can't be. Oh, you can't be serious. Now we're facing you? It's it's Uranus. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit is right. And I can't believe that you can cuss even though you're six years old. Look out, Obo! Uh-oh, what's happening? What on earth is happening? Silence? Where am I?
Sorry guys, I had to shut the door. So anyway, um, hello, Obo. Is this my hazard suit talking? This is your hazard suit interface. Yep, kind of thought so. Function. Preservation of life. Performing health diagnostic. Blood toxicity. Healthy. Injuries. Minimal. I don't look injured to me. Theo. Rebooting navigator. Reboot failed. Rebooting calm. Reboot failed. Hazard suit status. Power low. Rad shielding 20%. A power cell is needed. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna have to look for right now is a power cell. Is that what I'm getting at? I have to find Theo. No, I don't have to find Theo. I just need to find those two guys that keep mes that keep screwing us over. Mission objective. Subdue and eliminate Kiri. Deviating from mission protocols is unadvised. A power cell is needed. Once navs are restored, it will turn on the tracking program. Use this to find Kiri. Entering power save mode. So, I guess we're now trapped in a what appears to be a Pokemon Center, but yeah, anyway. Um, I'm just gonna leave it right here, guys, and this time on Pokemon Uranium, um, I guess we'll be looking for... Kiri and Uran. I'm hoping that we're inside the power plant. I'm assuming that they actually kind of abducted me and put me in here, so... Again, I guess we'll just have to find out next time, so... There we go. See you guys later.